Here's a beautiful log question. Uh, let's solve it. So it looks like I have a lawn on this side and then I have two lawns on this side. Since there's a subtract, I can squish those using the quotient log. So I'll have lawn of 5x minus 3 equals lawn of 18 over x minus 6. Then, since I have a lawn on this side and lawn on this side, I can use the property of logarithmic equality to just drop those logs. So my answer or next step will be 5x minus 3 equals 18 over x minus 6. To solve this one now, I'll get rid of the x minus 6 on the bottom by multiplying both sides by x minus 6. The right side they'll cancel and I'll wind up with x minus 6 times 5x minus 3 is equal to 18. Okay, it looks like it's a quadratic, so I'll foil this stuff on the left. 5x squared minus 3x minus 30x plus 18 is equal to 18. So I'll have 5x squared minus 33x. Oh, if I subtract 18 on both sides, those will all cancel. So that's equal to zero. Since I've lost my constant term, I'll just take out a common factor of x. So I'll factor out a common factor of x is equal to zero. Now I have two things that multiply together to give zero. So either x is zero or 5x minus 33 is zero. Solving this one, I'll have 5x is equal to 33. x is equal to 33 over 5. Now, I'm feeling fairly, fairly good with that, but let's check when I plug things back in that they will both work. I'm seeing troubles with this one because if I plug a zero in there, five times zero is zero, minus three is a negative three, and I can't take the log or lawn of a negative number, so that means x equals zero can't work. But when I put 33 over five into them, and you can try this on your calculator, go lawn, of 5 times 33 over 5 minus 3. That's that first bit. And see if the answer to that is the same as ln of 18 minus the ln of uh, 33 over 5 minus 6. So when you do this and when you do this, you should come up with the same answer. If not, then you'd say no solution. But I think in this case it'll work.